hello welcome to my channel or welcome back if you've been here before my name is Beth Ann and this is my I guess second video in a row where I'm talking about romance books which is a little strange because I don't read romance that often although it is a pretty solid genre for me to um, you know sort of pick up and return to um, occasionally um, but yeah that said when I read romance mostly I read like I've read some Regency romance um, I might read some light contemporary romance or sort of more of I guess what people would call cozy romance um, and there's a lot of other stuff out there and especially since I watch so many people on booktube talking about the books that they're reading um, there's a lot of romance that I haven't tried so what I'm going to show today is a small book haul from my local used bookstore um, and I walked into the used bookstore not intending to buy any romance. I was looking for a couple things in the fantasy section in particular and then just browsing their $1 shelves. There was a sign that said romance books. I think it was like buy four, get one free. And I was like, well, obviously I'm now going to buy some romance paperbacks. Um, even though that's not even a very good sale, like buy four, get one free. Um, when, uh, most of them are like $2. But anyway, I did it because sale in a used bookstore. What else are you going to do? So I thought I would share what I bought. Um, again, mostly things that I have not read. I have not read the authors, but I heard about on booktube for the most part. Um, so what am I in for? <laughs> Let's see. Um, so the first um, is a novel by Stacey Abrams, the politician, writing as Selena Montgomery. I have not tried any of her fiction. Um, and this was in the romance section, although looking at the back, I'm not sure that it's romance. It sounds a little more thrillery, which makes sense based on her other stuff. Uh, but maybe there's also um, some romance in it as well. I'm just going to read uh, from the back. So Mara Reed has been stirring up trouble since she was 18, running scams, living on the edge, always on the run. Now, when two thugs are after her with murder on their minds, she's forced into hiding in her small Texas hometown. But as she's cornered in an alley, only seconds from death, an unexpected rescuer comes to her aid. A forensic anthropologist, Dr. Ethan Stewart, is investigating a gruesome discovery, nearly 100 dead bodies dating back 50 years, a mystery linked to the church once headed by Mara's father. Ethan needs Mara's help. She needs his protection. Their search for a shocking, devastating truth could lead them to forgiveness and salvation if they survive. So Hidden Sins by Stacey Abrams. Looking forward to that one because I've been really curious how her fiction writing is for a long time. Um, so I'll probably get to that one sooner rather than later, I hope. All right, then something that's definitely uh, sort of up my usual alley when it comes to romance is this, The Accidental Scott by... Patience Griffin. So I actually hadn't heard of this author or this um, series, but it sounds like a pretty cozy mystery uh, between and uh, the female protagonist, it's a heterosexual romance, is an engineer in Edinburgh, Pippa McDonald. P sorry, Pippa McDonald. Um, and uh, she's going to, um, looks like, start a business relationship with somebody who ends up probably being a love interest and it's at Christmas time so cute okay the accidental Scott so I'm gonna give, give that a shot um, all right then two that I've heard about on booktube um, and probably wouldn't have picked up except for this sale and I am curious to give them a try just because I hear their names all the time um, so first I picked up a Jennifer Armentrout book um, and she's been all over booktube so I'm definitely curious this is the series blood ties book one and the book is called the turning um, and just on the cover, it says, avoid sunlight, drink blood, hate yourself forever. Welcome to immortality. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm curious. Uh, so it's somebody, a woman who's turned into a vampire and then, um, it ends up that, that you actually have a tie to the vampire that turned you. Um, and so I guess we'll see what sort of happens in that one. But yeah, she's all over booktube. A lot of people really rave about her. I don't know about this series in particular, um, but I figured I might give it a try someday. Um, the other name I've heard a lot, uh, all over booktube is Nalini Singh. Um, so this is Slave to Sensation, which is the first in, I don't know if she, I assume she has multiple series, but the first in, um, whatever series this is in. Well, I'm not going to be able to find the name of the series, uh, real quick, but this one sounds really interesting. Um, so there's a lot of like psychological powers in here. So I think Nalini Singh generally does paranormal romance or at least does some paranormal stuff. Um, 
So this one says, in a world that denies emotions, where the ruling sigh punish any sign of desire, Sasha Duncan must conceal the feelings that brand her as flawed. To reveal them would be to sentence herself to the horror of rehabilitation, the complete psychic erasure of everything she ever was. And then both human and animal, Lucas Hunter is a changeling hungry for the very sensations the sigh disdain. After centuries of uneasy coexistence, these two races are now on the verge of war over the brutal murders of several changeling women. Lucas is determined to find the Psy killer who butchered his packmate, and Sasha is his ticket into their closely guarded society. Goes on from there. So um, that sounds pretty interesting. So we've definitely got some paranormal stuff uh, with the with the mind powers. Um, yeah, so might give that a try someday. Um, and then another pretty random one. This is Amanda Quick, um, close up, and I just loved the cover of this with that little bit of kind of art deco vibe um, and the retro vintage uh, look of the heroine. So I didn't actually really look up anything about this. I just grabbed it based on the cover. So anyway, those that, that was my quick romance haul, my random surprise romance haul. Um, so if you see this video, have you read any of these books or any of these authors? Um, and what am I in for? <laughs> all right, thanks for watching. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.